Hey everyone, Deb here, the Simple Grower here in the Pacific Northwest. It's a really hot day here, um, starting the morning early. It's about 7 o'clock now. I'm headed out to pick some black cap raspberries off my bu berry bushes and get some more blueberries. So, and then after that we're going to go out to my garden and check things out down there. still have a fair amount on here to get ripened, so this is pretty exciting for me. It looks like my blueberry season will probably go for another couple of weeks. If I keep these things well watered, next week we're supposed to get temperatures like regular temperatures that aren't in the hundreds, back down to the mid-80s, so I think these are going to be just fine as soon as we get through this heat wave. Yeah, I'm excited! first blackberry. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, I got my basket. Let's go on in and see what's growing on. <laughs> Such a silly thing to say sometimes, but I'm goofy so I like it. Alright, well let's just take a little. Let me drop my basket here. I'll get to picking here in a minute. Let's just do the little update here. Now, look how beautiful that's coming together. My bean trellis. Y'all, try not to move the camera too fast. And look at all the beans. I've actually been picking beans for about a week and a half now. About the first thing that got mature, so. I'm pretty happy about it. My Napa Chardonnay. Uh, I've gotten three ripe tomatoes off it. I see another one starting to blush. Yeah, I didn't get a cage around it. Even though I complained about it in two or three videos ago, I still haven't done it. I've had some uh, emergencies though. It got up to into the 100 degrees and you know, I had to fight that and keep my animals alive. <laughs> So that's what I've been doing. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to have to back you up here, y'all. I hope you can see this. Open up the tripod legs here. Because I can't get this all in one shot. So, let's just take a look at Jack. Okay, there we go. That's where Jack started. And that's where Jack is now. He's about 13 feet tall. She. Jack in the beanstalk is huge. And look, it's just starting to get a flower. Let me see if I can zoom in on her. Oh, it's going to be a gorgeous flower. And it's getting a bunch of them, too. I have no idea what kind of sunflower this is. But it's called Jack and the Beanstalk now. So impressive. So here's the first bed I put in. They're doing great. The heat's getting to them. Everything's kind of stopped right now. It's okay. Next week's going to be better. Peppers are doing great. I already harvested basil. And look at it already back. So it's doing great. Here's my Shimmer Hybrid. 
it puts out a lot of tomatoes just got to give it a chance to mature and we'll be doing great and there goes my irritation system sorry about the background noise y'all and here's my leafy greens and onion bed it's doing great gonna get that ready for my fall vegetables so I'll be starting soon show you guys that look at this I hope I get it all in one shot isn't that gorgeous yeah oh my god it's so heavy and that's my habanero sugar rut or no cayenne and then sugar rush peach boy did I plant those appropriately for their height and their bushiness so they don't block each other out for sun gorgeous another sunflower in my garden got pollinators everywhere right now you guys because um, it's cool this morning it's getting hot though oh that looks like we got a pepper or a yeah. yellow squash it's ready my yellow squash has been crushing it this year absolutely crushing it I've probably got 15 of these already and my zucchinis are crushing it too I've given away so many zucchini. Put this down here. I got another zucchini in here that's uh, ready to go. Actually, this one got a little bit big. Told you guys, you turn your back on these zucchini, and the next day they're as big as little babies. <sighs> Can't turn your back on them for a, a full day, that's for sure. You gotta check them several times a day. Getting kind of warm for those though. And then cucumbers, you guys, look at these. Let's see what I got going in the shot here. Yep. There's my uh, succession planting. See, these are just starting to come up. They're just starting to get their first blossoms. And I've probably gotten maybe 50 cucumbers off this thing already. Look at that. I mean, again, this is the same way I need my clippers forgot to grab them but look at that look at that you guys <laughs> isn't this awesome I mean my chickens literally eat a cucumber a day so this is I mean and I do too ah it's literally food I just love it okay <laughs> I'm so excited I just can't figure out what to show you guys first and second and third okay so um this is my second planting of tomatoes and basil and I gotta back it up here you guys it's pretty doggone amazing they're doing fabulous that soldaki I'm gonna get zoomed in here show you that set is just amazing and I actually have one of my Abe Lincoln's that's an heirloom tomato look y'all starting to blush and look at that set I'm gonna go to the other side here because this is just ridiculous. absolutely ridiculous. look at that set on the Abe Lincoln's but look at this set on the Soldaki are you kidding me I'm actually gonna take this one out Oh, I wish I had my clippers on me. There we go. Yeah. That's got some problems. And I don't want you wasting your energy on that mess. Lost one of my um, cantaloupe. But look, you guys. You're all the pollinators buzzing around. Look at that. Another one. I'm coming in here. This is my honeydew. Golden honeymoon is what it's called. Look. Look. 
<laughs> so excited. Okay. Those are my um, watermelons. And I see a couple. I see pollinators like mad up in here. Yay. And I do see a couple watermelon on those vines. You know, I've never grown watermelon before. Well, I did once, but we won't talk about it. Um, and I did get one watermelon out of that situation. And I'm pretty sure, you know, if I get one watermelon off of each vine, there's three watermelon vines here. I'll be happy with that, you know. I imagine that once melons start producing on this, these plants are small. They're probably just going to put all their energy into one watermelon and move on. So we'll see. Yeah. All right. Here is my paste tomato. It's absolutely loaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded. No ripe ones yet, but we're getting there. And lucky guys, since I took the kohlrabi out of this bed, which I think was robbing nitrogen and, well, mostly nitrogen. Well, and probably other nutrients too, because it's a, it uses a lot of phosphorus and potassium for the bulb creation. But, um, yeah, so I managed the water. I fed them. More nitrogen than a person ought to be feeding their plants at this time of the year, but they needed it and look they're doing so much better and they're stunted i'm not going to get the pepper production i want but they're alive and they're going to give me something and that's that accounts for something don't it look at that let's give it a little squeeze oh baby the tomatillo is almost there i'm going to make a whole bunch of green sauce and and put it up for the winter and look here, y'all. Got a cucumber. Got to get her out. There we go. Put it with the rest of them here. I'll come back around with my basket and pick everything up. And back to the tour. This whole sunflower, weird. I think it's, I don't know. what. I think it might have been a, I don't know what it was. I was going to say a volunteer, but I don't think so. I think I deliberately put it there, so it must have been from a seed. I wish I knew what it was, because I won't grow it again. It's not very attractive. That one over there is just killing it. Oops, sorry guys. And then here's my other paste tomato. This is my opalca. Getting kind of bushy in there. Need to get rid of some of these leaves in the middle. So we get some good airflow, especially right now with the way it's so hot. And then here's another example, I think, of something that takes a lot of nitrogen out of your soil. You know, essentially robs it of it from everything else getting any nitrogen. And here's the trellis. So I plant my beans on the outside of my trellis. So they're in this raised bed here. Well, this is a jalapeno pepper. <laughs> And I planted it a long time ago, and it never really was able to do much. Basil. Where's my finger? There it is. Basil. And you saw my basil over there. It's already starting to bolt. And look, it's not even that green. Like, it's a pale green. I've even given it some nitrogen. But I think this, <laughs> of course, is just leaching all... The nitrogen from the bed and stealing it from these smaller plants and so they just don't really have a chance i don't have a chance and so lessons learned you guys i i just won't uh i don't know do something different in there maybe put onions in there instead and look you guys there's a sugar rush peach not not quite ready but i just told you guys this thing is freaking loaded and just beautiful yeah, okay. And there's today's harvest. I was just talking to my neighbor. 
and we were just talking about how blessed we feel to be able to raise our own food, live in a gorgeous state, good people, good food. All right, y'all. Be blessed and be awesome. Till next time, take care. Bye.